Welcome back, everyone. We are now still on um, Module 5, and we are going to be working on the second SPSS exercise, um, 35. So I still have my file open where we were working on exercise 29. Exercise 35 is calculating the Pearson chi-square. So I'm just looking through these questions here. I have to compute the chi-square value, determine if it's significant, I then have to just simply calculate some percentages of antibiotic users who tested positive for candiduria um, or didn't or weren't using antibiotics or different kinds of relationships there based on the tables that you were given in your reading. So I am just going to show you how to compute the chi-square. So again, I'm going to go to my Citrix program, open up SPSS. And then from there, I am going to pull in my data set. Remember that your data sets are all found in um, my Google Drive folder under data sets. You want the second um, data set for module five. So make sure that that is saved on your computer. And that you are able to open it. So I just clicked the folder and opened that file and I can see that I have two columns here. So I just want you to keep in mind that a zero means they don't have that and a one means they do. So a zero means uh, that they don't have candiduria, a one means that they do, a zero under antibiotic use means they're not using antibiotics, and a one means that they are. So there were several questions in your worksheet here at the end that were asking about these percentages. Using the numbers, calculate the percentage of non-antibiotic users who tested negative for candiduria. Um, calculate the percentage of veterans, so that is data that is in the table um, in the workbook uh, with candiduria who had a history of antibiotic use. Calculate the percentage with candiduria who had no history of antibiotic use. So that information is in your, so these first patients right here up through 15, they tested positive for candiduria and they were using antibiotics. So that's 15 out of the total. Uh, it looks like 58 patients. So you, so you would go through that information to try to figure out what percentages they're actually asking for. So I'm going to do what I usually do, which is delete off some of these values. So I'm just going to delete some random ones in here. so that I can show you how to work this without actually giving you the answers. So I need to calculate the chi-square, so I do that by going to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Cross Tabs. I took the candiduria and put it into um, rows, it doesn't really matter which, and the antibiotic use and put it into columns. I'm going to check my statistics tab here and make sure that chi-square is checked. Click continue. And then I'm just going to click OK. So here is my chi-square value for this study. Remember my data is different than yours. And here's my significance value. So I can copy this over to my workbook here. and um, look at some of those questions that go along with it. So this is, again, my chi-square value that I'm going to use to answer that question. And um, then it's asking me about the significance level. Well, mine is significant because uh, my level is 0 0.001, which is less than 0 0.05. So as long as it's less than the alpha value, it is significant. Um, and then the, these are the questions that are going to be asking you about um, the percentages that you need in there. 
So that is actually pretty much everything you need for the Pearson Chi-Square data table and information. I hope that this has been helpful, but as always, please feel free to ask any questions that you have in the individual forum. I am very happy to help. God bless and have a good day.